All right, so this is the programming part of section four, chapter one, and we're at heroku.com, and I'm not gonna go through this because I already have an account, I already signed up, so all you need to do is click on sign up, and you wanna enter your email address, and I think they give you a, a confirmation email which you need to click on, um, and you wanna choose the dev account which is if you go to pricing this account here the dev account which is free um, they give us a uh, 5 megabyte database and they give us space to deploy our app so this is all we need so just go through the process um, and per not purchase but get the free account and then you should be all set for that okay so after you do that let's continue and you want to go to um, shoot what was the URL um, we want to download Postgres database for Windows uh, cloud database you'll have the URL in the um, program in the document files Uh, no, we don't want the plus. You know what? Let me just get the URL real quick. Okay, so this is the URL. And we want to download. If you're using a 32 bit system, then get the x86 32. If not, use a 64. This is the latest version at this time, is 9.2.3 and then you want to download that which I've already done and once you download it you want to run it open that up and this is just like installing any kind of Windows application just go through the motions next next uh, data directory I don't know why this is empty this sh really shouldn't be um, but I'm just gonna choose it. Just choose any directory where you don't mind database stuff going into. I'm just gonna do on the root of my C drive. I'm just gonna make a new folder that's just called just database. Okay, then click next. Now you want to type in a password for your um, super user. Just leave the default port number. You can leave the default locale and set up. So I'm going to pause the video for a couple minutes and let this actually, no, it seems to go pretty fast. Starting the database server. Alright, so just leave this stack this checked. Finish. Okay, now uh, this is a wizard that helps us install additional software for our Postgres uh, Postgres SQL. So just choose this right here. The PostgreSQL that you just installed and click next. Now here I want to choose um, we want to choose right here PHP actually no we don't want that. Where is one? PG admin is what I'm looking for. I think. Um, I'm going to check these two right here, PG Agent and Bouncer, and 
that should be it. And I'm also going to choose PHP PG admin. I'm not going to choose Apache. Well. Okay, I guess we need Apache if you know what? Just keep the top two checked. The, the agent and the bouncer applications, add-ons. Okay, um, you know what, just click skip installation for now and then click next and then finish. And now if you should be able to go to your start menu and on the lower left of your screen, well, if you're learning Ruby on Rails I'm sure you know what a start menu is. <laughs> and then just go to Postgres, uh, Postgres, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, and then go to PG Admin 3. And this is a handy little tool that we can use to actually create databases and, and tables and, and view our tables and all that good stuff. So if you click on Postgres SQL, right, right click and then click connect. And here is where you're going to enter your password. And now we're connected to the, the, um, the database. Um, so we already have an actual database created called Postgres, but I'm going to create a new one. So highlight database and then click right click and then new database. And we're just going to call this uh, my Ruby blog. This is going to be the database for our app. So you can see the user our username is going to be Postgres, okay, and our password will be the one we, that we entered during installation. And the database name is my Ruby blog. Those are the three things that you need to have uh, to to integrate this with our Rails application. So now we want to go back to Heroku to the website and log in. Now this is my dashboard. I actually already have an app here, um, but we're, gonna, we're not going to pay any attention to this. We're going to create a new app. So you need to download the Heroku tool belt um, to your system. So um, where, do, where would we get that? Uh, Huh, let me try searching. Alright, so it looks like it's toolbelt.heroku.com. So we're going to install the Windows version. Save that. And you can look down here, this is just the basic syntax on how we're going to log into the system and, and authenticate and then how we're going to create a Heroku repository and app. So I'm going to run this and we're going to install the Heroku tool belt. Just leave the default directory. Full installation. And from now on, we're actually going to use the the shell, the command line that Heroku provides us with, as opposed to Rails installer. Uh, they will be reclosed and restarted automatically. 
okay so that's just gonna close some apps we have open um, I think it was talking about my browser window so now it looks like it's setting up git and like I said before git does come with rails installer but uh, we're just gonna use I find theirs to be better to work with Okay, finish.